In this world of technology, things are ever changing, rearranging. You need someone to help you out. I know someone who can. Come and take a journey with me as we go through the land of technology. You'll never be alone. You'll be with Paul. I'm a day slain in the tech zone. Hello and welcome back to the Tech Zone, Paul. I'm a day is lane. Hope you enjoyed the first segment of the show. If you missed it, we talked about the ban on certain Chinese phone manufacturers and the effect that this can have on the economy. Are we in the possible trade war with China? If you missed my discussion on that, make sure you can go check it out, podcast on uh, iHeartRadio, here at ABC News, uh, Radio KMET, or you can even uh, check it out on YouTube as well, too. Paul Amadeus Lane. All right. This is our second segment of the show, and I'm so excited to talk about uh, this uh, right here. I always love when I see different technology that's disrupting the norm. I'm going to use the term out there. You millennials out there, you may not know what it means. Padlock. Do you know what a padlock is? Uh, for some of my hip hop friends out there, you remember a song by Salt and Pepper? It was really one of their first songs that came out in the 80s. I think it was 85. It was called I Take You a Man. Remember? And uh, one of the lyrics was there. It says, I'll take your man right out the box and put him under my padlock. So that's just for my hip hop people out there. But padlocks. What is a padlock and what is one company doing to disrupt the way that we use padlocks and uh, just uh, what we see out there? Hey, check out this video right here. I always love it when when videos have music, uh, especially for our our, uh, our radio audience out there, because you're not seeing the visual. So when it has like cool music like that, you can dance around and, and sashay in your car, or wherever you're at listening. And that's why it's so important to go and check out the video version of the show. There's so many features on there that you can check out. Got some pretty cool lower thirds and everything, and 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 me making my facial expressions because I hope you can sense it. Uh, listening to it on the radio right there. But that piece of technology was awesome, wasn't it, to look at. For you who are in the uh, car right now, you have no idea what was just played. But we're joined by a very special guest to talk about what we just watched and why this technology is changing the game when it comes to padlocks. And joining me right now, I am so happy to have with me the co-founder and CTO. I love talking to chief technology officers about innovation of Taplock, talking about David Tao. David, welcome to the show. How are you, my friend? Great. Glad to be on the show. David, it's an honor having you. I tell you, when I found out about the product back in CES 2017, I knew you guys were on to something. Talk about just what made you guys come up with this innovation and just the journey that brought us where we are today, we're actually having this on the market and getting some great feedback. Right. Um, so I actually had this idea when way before, I think it was 45 years ago. Um, at that time, I was in university and uh, I spent a lot of time in the gym. And you know, gym, they have lockers, you have to bring your own padlock. And I had those, one of the, the mechanical padlock, traditional ones. And uh, it, it's uh, hard to operate. And I forgot to bring my keys. I lose my keys. I forgot about my combination code all the time. So I think that was uh, uh, one semester I cut, I lost at least uh, three of my padlocks. So I mean, like, it, it's really bad. And uh, I thought that that might be a better solution than what we have right now. Uh, and that time, iPhone 5S just came out as the first smartphone that has incorporated a touch ID. Now I thought, you know, fingerprint technology and padlock. That's an adequate solution to all these problems, um, you know, I just mentioned. So 
Um, then, then in 2016, and uh, me and my partner meet, and uh, it, you know, we just think you know, we should uh, make this into a reality. That's when we started Tablock Corp. And uh, in early 2016, we launched the Indigo campaign. I uh, raised about $320,000. And uh, then uh, we got on Dragon's Den um, the same year. Um, in 2017, we went to CES uh, for the show. And uh, in middle of 2017, we started uh, full mass production and shipping the product to our customers. Wow. And we are on 2018 uh, CES again this year. Wow, that's, that's awesome. And we're gonna talk about that 2018 experience, but you know, it, it's, it's really refreshing to see that you saw a need when you went to the gym of when it comes to padlocks and being able to get your things without getting them cut. You know, I remember when I was in high school, we used to have the padlocks. And whenever I forgot my combination, they would have to come and cut the lock off and I would have to get another one. So way back many moons ago, when I was in high school, I would have loved to have this type of innovation. And, and that's what I think is really refreshing, David, that you saw a need and then you decide to work on that need to create this, this wonderful product. What has been some of the feedback that you guys have gotten from that product and how did that kind of shape your 2018 um, CES experience? And also congratulations on winning Innovation Award as well, too. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I mean, back in 2016, we had a prototype and that's the one we um, exhibit on, on, on uh, Indiegogo. And that one, we got a lot of feedback from customers and we improved upon it. And uh, so in when we start shipping in 2017, that's a product that uh, at least like I see, like the majority of customer really enjoyed using because uh, the fingerprint access only takes about 0 0.8 seconds. It stored up to 500 fingerprints you can use for multiple users. And the quality is fantastic. You know, uh, uh, a lot of our customers love the product because it's a, it's a really quality and solid product. And it solved, uh, actually solves their problems. Nice. And David, if you can, why don't you hold that the lock up again? A little bit so we take a look at that lock. Yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. So, yeah. so you just put your finger. Yeah, let's do a quick demo here. So it has my fingerprint registered. Wow. And see. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that is super cool. So, so David, um, of course, it, it's an app, app on the phone to be able to do that. And you talked about multi-users. So you, if you, if your family member wanted to use it or maybe your significant other, you guys thought about that too with the innovation too, didn't you? That is true. Um, so top lock, another functionality I think uh, our customers really loved was that so you can unlock the product wirelessly and can share access using Bluetooth using our TopLock mobile app. And you can manage access remotely and monitor the usage history. At the same time, you can use it outside. It's waterproof, has rechargeable battery lasting one year per charge. You know, just in case you lose your phone and your fingerprint doesn't work at all, you can always use the backup Morse code password, which you can click on here to unlock it. So there are three ways to unlock fingerprints, Bluetooth through your phone, mobile phone and the backup Morse code password. And, and David, if you can show that again, the, the Morse code password, where you can find that at, you can show that one more time. Wow. Sure. Um, so for this, um, this padlock, I haven't set my uh, Morse code yet, Okay. but you get an idea. Morse code is really like a long and short combination. And then you can set your own password using that. For instance, like right now, one, two, sh long, long, you know, long, you know, I haven't set mm -hmm. my password yet, so it won't unlock, but gotcha. you get the gist. Absolutely. That, that's, I mean, you, you thought of everything when it comes to um, connectability, but also uh, when it comes to security as well, too. And, and as we are discussing this right now, automatically uh, ideas are popping in my mind. Me being disabled and confined to a wheelchair and my finger's not working, this is something that can help out the disabled community too once you are physically challenged because, you know, let's say you have a caregiver, you want to come into your house, come to your backyard. And from your smart device, you can actually give them access. You can you can ring them in. And, and, and David, I'm not sure if you guys thought about this when you guys are creating this, but you guys have tapped into a 
a whole new market when it comes to the physically challenge out there. And I, and I want to thank you for creating something like this. Yeah, uh, well, we did a thought about uh, people who have uh, physically challenged. Actually, we got, um, I think, uh, a dozen of uh, a thank you letter from the customers who are uh, disabled people that uh, this really helped them, you know, um, for a lot of people who couldn't uh, use the combination code because the physical challenge and uh, the fingerprint is a uh, really convenient way for them to, um, you know, access your, uh, their, their secured goods and stuff. That's awesome. That's awesome. And to get that feedback, they had to really make you make you and the team feel feel really good about what you guys are doing out there. Definitely, 100%. So, you know, uh, we, yeah, we've created a product to help people. That is so true. So let's talk about the innovation that, that, that was created to make this, this lock possible. So did you guys have to build like a little brain in there to be able to do this? Talk about the, the, the nuts and bolts without giving the secrets away of, of, of trying to put this together. Um, yes. Yeah, so, um, I, I just, I talked about the, the feature for the products. Um, we designed the whole thing. Uh, the entire product, all in-house. Um, we sophisticated the fingerprint algorithm, the software, the, the uh, hardware electronics. So we made sure that the fingerprint technology is cutting edge. Actually, our user experience has proven to be better than the one you're using on your smartphones. The access is faster and more reliable. And I, and I tell you, it's... Uh... It's beautiful. So that's a beautiful lock. You know, when it comes to design, that's awesome. That's true. Um, I mean, uh, we have been through, I mean, the, through the, the two, uh, three, almost three years of development process, we have created about 10 generations of, uh, of a tab lock. This is the one um, you are seeing as the 10th generation. And before there, there are like nine more different ones. You know, we, we have been doing like constant iteration to improve the user experience, the quality, um, you know, the security, um, this product, even though it looks, uh, you know, uh, it just like a normal padlock, but it's the physical security is top notch. It's forged with Zemex 3 zinc alloy metal body with seven millimeter reinforced stainless steel shackle. It strands with double layer lock designed with anti-shim and anti pry technologies. It's a closed system, so basically, is impossible to be picked because it doesn't have a keyhole to insert. Wow, I tell you, yeah. I, I, I am blown away, blown away by the innovation, and and I have one, and I've been able to to play with it and check it out, and and it's a, it's it's amazing. Thank you. So, if you can talk about the deciding to do a Kickstarter campaign, because really, we, we did Indiegogo. Campaign. Oh, Indiegogo. I'm sorry, Indiegogo <laughs> Kickstarter. <laughs> something else but indiegogo when you think about the indiegogo campaign here you guys are putting out your idea you're putting your your blood sweat and tears out there was there any kind of fear that that ones who saw this product wouldn't wouldn't love it as much as you and the team did it was that was that was that a fear so could you repeat a question i said when you decided to to do the indiegogo uh campaign uh, we know that you guys are putting your ideas out there and see if ones want to want to back the idea. Mm -hmm. Was there any fear that that maybe ones who saw the product wouldn't love it as much as you guys and and you guys would not have had the success that you have? Or did you guys always feel this was a home run and people are going to love it? I mean, I, I think it's a combination of both. We had uh, a certain degree of confidence when, uh, before we go uh, going into uh, doing an Indigo campaign, but at the same time, we know uh, there are some elements we're not so sure about at the time about you know the, the details of the product. For instance, how thick, how big the product should be. But uh, um, before we go into Indigo, when we started um, started the inception of this idea, we have done extensive market research. We have done you know extensive uh, customer interviews. So we know for a fact that the people. Are gonna buy this product. Awesome. Go going Indiegogo, awesome. and it proves that it shows that you know we we uh, we raised about three hundred twenty thousand dollars. You know, in less than a month. You know, that this shows this uh, actual demand for this product, and people loved it. 
very impressive what you guys did. And I, and I can tell just the way you guys launched this and put it all together that you guys did your research and it, and it definitely pays off. So is there anything else you can talk about as far as anything in the future, future innovation that you guys may be uh, unleashing on us at, at Taplock? Yeah, um, Tablock One, the one I'm showing right now, we also won the 2018 IF um, Design Award um, in Berlin, Germany. Germany, and uh, you know, uh, speaking of the future products, uh, we're still going to continue on the what we call the smart security padlock path, and uh, we're going to launch the Tablock Lite, which um, in middle of this year, which is uh, a more compact version, lightweight version that's more suitable. Uh, for sports and travel. Um, and we're also going to launch Tablock One Plus, which is an upgrade version of Tablock One. Um, it has to reinforce waterproofness and a better temperature tolerance. And uh, we have the, the fingerprint timestamp and a uh, better uh, software incorporated. So, yeah. Um, we have, and we have expanded engineering team. You know, so like right now we have we have even more strict standards in terms of product design and uh, the quality assurance. We have uh, more professional people managing our supply chain, making sure that we can meet the, the quantity. Uh, sorry, the volume demands from um, from the the markets. Well, David, I just want to say congratulations on uh, what you guys are doing over there. You guys have a phenomenal product that's changing the world, not only for the disabled community, but also for consumers in general. And I'm telling you, when I first saw this, this this just blew me away. So, how can ones get a hold of this product? Is there a website out there you wanna you wanna give out? Because we want to make sure everybody gets these products. So, how can they do that? All right. Um. Just simply Google Tablock Double P T A P P L O C K on Google, and the first website shows um www dot tapplck.com that's our website just go on the website and click buy and you will get a padlock within uh two days three days depending on shipping time awesome david thank you so much uh, for joining me david is the co-founder and cto of, of taplock my friend great catching up with you hey we look forward to chatting with you again come on again let's talk about what some more products drop for sure come on and join us all right you know, after we launch the next uh, few products, you know, we'll be glad to talk more about this. Sounds you good. Know, I'm very glad to be on the show. Well, you're welcome back anytime, my friend. All right. Once again, a huge shout out to David Tao from Taplock, CTO, Chief Technology and uh, Once again, a huge shout out to David Tao of Taplock, CTO, Chief Technology Officer and co-founder of the company. Really enjoyed the way he explained uh, how they came up with the idea and so many cool things that you can do about it. And of course, I always got to show some love to my people. Now don't assume that I'm talking about the African-American people. I'm talking about the disabled community, my community that I'm a part of and how this is changing their lives too. I'm going to do a blog uh, about it on the Abilities Expo website and, uh, and maybe do a little test so you guys can check it out too. All right, when we get back, we're going to talk about gamer news, esports, and more. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. In this world of technology, things are ever changing, rearranging. You need someone to help you out. I know someone who can. Come and take a journey with me as we go through the land of technology. You'll never be alone. You'll be with Paul. I'm a dead slain in the tech zone.